Today's video is all about this thing right here B motherfucking 12 The much talked about vitamin or actually it's bacteria found in soil And how important it is for the plant based badasses like myself Or if you are not even plant based It, it is still pretty damn important Because most of the people that get B12 deficiency Ain't plant based so what's up with that? So firstly, if you are vegan or plant-based vegetarian, which I highly recommend you to become if you are not yet, then you should definitely supplement with this. Little story here, why I'm even making this video. It is because 20 months ago I went vegan, I started to supplement with this exact, exact product, the same bottle, which is 100 tablets of 1000 one, wait a second, 100 tablets of 1000 milligrams per B12 in one tablet and that's plenty for you for one day or even two days but yeah I had this, I went through the 100 tablets maybe like in six months or even more I didn't take them any, any day like religiously take them one each day so it took me like eight months but what about that? It has been like, it has been since then, since I gone through one of these tablets, it has been like probably almost a year, maybe 10 months or something. And I didn't take any B12. Why? Why you ask? Well, I will tell you why. I'm dumb person. I'm idiot. I didn't think it through. Like, why wouldn't I take this? It's not that expensive and... Well, why wouldn't I? Well, firstly, I thought I get enough B12 maybe from the enhanced products like nutritional yeast that I don't eat that much. Sometimes it's really good but it's really pricey too. And, but I, I drink plant-based milks like soy or coconut or almond milk and they have B12 in them So I thought maybe I get enough for, uh, enough for it But I must say clearly I didn't Other things that people in the internet talk about is that B12 lasts your body for a long time You kind of re reuse the B12 already what you have already gotten and that can last two years or more but how do you know that you get, did get enough b12 before you went vegan or plant-based or you are getting enough b12 on an omnivorous diet if you are not doing blood test you really don't know most of the people that are b12 deficient ain't vegan like i said they ain't plant-based and they still get B12 deficiency. Do you know that they feed B12 supplements to the animals that some people like to eat? Like, it is so gone from our, from our soil that they need to feed that stuff to the animals. One other myth out there is that your own large intestine produces B12, but the place where the B12 bacteria is in your lar large intestine is actually further down than the part that your body uses to absorb B12. If there is some B12 bacteria in there, your body can't use it at all and really you must get your B12 from food or supplements. I have noticed such a notable improvement after I started to supplement with B12 three weeks ago again that that really inspired me to make this video. I have more energy, more mental clarity, my sleep is better, I have more stamina when I train, my athletic performance has gone up because of these things. Overall, I just feel better. I did feel good before, but I have noticed significant difference how much better I feel now. Of course, this is only an anecdotal evidence, like this is my own personal experience, but all of the plant-based doctors out there are recommending you to take B12. And this is why I'm making this video. If you are one of those plant-based badasses, vegans out there that are not supplementing with B12 right now, 
for whatever reason. Please, please start taking it right now. It's not expensive, it's easy, it tastes good. You don't want to be one of those anemic vegans who always whine about everything. You want to be the plant-based badass, healthy motherfucker. And we plant-based healthy motherfuckers take B12 supplements. Get it? What B12 products I recommend? If you want, you can get the straight to the buttocks, straight to the ass straight to the veins, at least then you know that it goes to the bloodstream and you are not just pissing, the, pissing that B12 out but I don't really want to shoot B12 into my buttocks so I take it sublingually just put it right there and let it sit there is also sprays out there that I haven't tested but I'm sure they are good so 100 micrograms per tablet, that's plenty for one day or even two days. You don't have to religiously take this every single day, but do take them at least a few times a week. And Dr. Gregor from nutritionfacts.com recommends you to take these things sublingually, 100 micrograms, 1000 micrograms, I'm sorry. That's the video, subscribe. I will see you on the next time with some other adventures and in the meantime take your motherfucking beat valve see you guys in the next video